Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will learn how to install the current MySQL version. With that, we will install the MySQL server shell as well as workbench. Let's start. At first, go to the web browser. I am using Chrome, you can use any web browser. On Google, type MySQL and press enter. On pressing enter, the official website is visible mysql.com. Click on it. After clicking mysql.com, you need to go to downloads, click on it. Now go below. Here and click on mysql community downloads. Now here and click on mysql installer for windows. Now the current version is visible for windows which is mysql 8.0.34. It automatically selected on its own. No problem and two versions are visible. Remember that this works for 64 bit as well. It's written 32 bit, but it will work for 64 bit as well. So I'll be so I'll be downloading the following one, not the web one, the second one, 331 MB. Click on it to download. Now go below and click No thanks. Just start my download. Download started. Let's wait. We have downloaded it. Here is the MSI file. Double click on it to install. Minimize. Now you need to choose a setup type. I'll directly go for custom so that uh, I have an idea what I'm doing, what I'm installing. Click on next. Now you need to select the products, click on MySQL server, drop down, MySQL 8.0 and here it is. This is what we wanted. Click on the arrow to drag it here. Now go to applications, click on workbench, do the same for workbench. These are the ones which we'll be installing. Go for shell. Here it is. Click on here to drag it. Now we have our server workbench in shell. Click on next. The installation started. Let's wait. We have successfully installed it. Click next. Now product configuration. Click on next. Now type and networking. Keep it as it is. It is checking double three zero six port number. No problem. Click next. Authentication method. You can use a strong password or the following legacy basic, but the following is recommended. So keep it as it is and click next. Here insert the root password. That is the admin password for your MySQL server. You can use any password, my password also because it is on localhost. Click next. Windows service fine. Click next. Server file permissions. Yes. Keep the default. Grant full access. Click next. Apply configuration. Click on execute. So one by one all the steps will get executed. That's it. Completed. Configuration successful. Click finish. Click next. Now keep it as it is. Start MySQL workbench and shell. No problem. Click finish. Now we have started the shell and workbench, but we need to set the path for that. Go to C drive. Program files, go below, MySQL click on it, server click on it, bin click on it and copy this path, minimize, go to start, type environment variables, 
Remember to go for system environment variables. Click on open. Click environment variables here. Now under system variables, go below. Click on path, double click. Click new. Right click and paste the same path. Here it is. Click OK. OK and the last OK. Now go to start. Type CMD. Click on open to open the command prompt. Type the command mysql space hyphen hyphen version and press enter. You can see we successfully installed the current version. Now type mysql space hyphen u space root hyphen p herein u is for user remember it was root and p is for password. Press enter. Enter the same password. Press enter. We successfully installed mysql. Now you can Check the databases, the default databases show show space databases semicolon press enter. Here are the default databases. Let us create a new database using the create database. Using the create database and database name. Here I am adding the database name AmitDB. You can add any name. Press enter. Here it is. We successfully created it. Let us verify. Show databases semicolon and press enter. Here it is. We have AmitDB now. In this way, you can work around MySQL using a tutorial. The link we have added in the video description. Now click on here to open the MySQL Workbench and enter the same password. Click OK. So MySQL Workbench is a UI. You can also check the tutorial in the video description. We have added a link. So guys, in this video, we saw how we can easily work around MySQL and install it. Thank you for watching the video.